Hey everybody, welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the high-grade Wyndham from Gundam Seed Destiny. Before we get into the review, I have to give a quick thank you to my sponsor, Galactic Toys. They sent me this kit entirely for free, so a big thank you to them. If you'd like to get one of these for yourself, check out their website with my affiliate link down in the description. Also, don't forget to use code YSG10 at checkout for 10% off your order. With that being said, let's get on to the review. So the Wyndham is a mass-produced grunt suit, and I gotta say, this is the fanciest looking grunt suit that I've ever seen. And the model kit definitely does a great job of capturing its interesting look. And as far as the design of the Wyndham itself, I don't really know how I feel about it. I don't don't really care for the fact that it seems to be quite bottom heavy, but I do really dig the kind of insectoid look that the Wyndham has going on. I think what's giving me that vibe is this long slender V-fin which looks like bug antenna. These also come with safety nubs on the end so you don't stab yourself when handling this thing, which is a good thing for me because I'm pretty clumsy. Also somebody pointed out to me that it looks like he's wearing cop sunglasses so now I can't really unsee that. But yes, overall this kit looks great. One thing that especially stuck out to me was the color separation. Everything you see before you is pure plastic 100% color separated goodness. Of course, I did use stickers for the head cameras and the sunglasses. Other than that though, no color correcting stickers were used on this build as you see it here, and it looks awesome without them. Which is a really good thing because sweet mother of god we get an obscene amount of color correcting stickers with this kit. And I do not feel like dealing with any of those. It seriously is beyond me at this point why Bandai is able to make parts like this its own plastic piece. But then you turn around and you have parts like this that require a sticker for color separation. I mean, I don't understand. Thankfully, most if not all the stickers are for the accessories, which is nice. I'd at least rather have that than have it be for color separation on the mobile suit itself. I still can't really give it a pass for needing this many stickers for the accessories, but because it's only the accessories, I'm not too mad about it. It's just this really weird juxtaposition of amazing and terrible color separation all in one kit. It's like Bandai put all their R&D resources into making the mobile suit and then they were like, oh shit, we gotta make the accessories too. And probably giving it too much crap, it's just stickers really. I don't mind how it looks without them and I'm sure a lot of people won't either. Of course, if you do, you can always just fiddle with the stickers or if you're so inclined, you can paint your kit yourself. So aside from the stickers, which really only apply to the accessories anyway, the mobile suit itself looks great. And before we move on to talking about those accessories, let's take a quick look at the seam lines on this kit and then we can move on. So the majority of the seam lines on this kit have actually been cleverly hidden. However, there are a few that are still visible, so I'll point those out real quick. You have one on the back of the legs, one on top of the torso, and we get one running up the side of the head and that's about it. I'm not gonna lie, I straight up finished this video and let it render completely and didn't realize until afterwards that I totally forgot to do a size comparison. So, here you go. Here's the high-grade Wyndham compared with an Amiibo, the high-grade Gundam Exia, the Frame Arms Girls Gryphon from the previous review, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out, the Reborn 100 Zaku 2 Kai, and my coffee cup. Alright, cool, now that that's done, I have to go render this video a second time. Now, moving on to accessories, here's the Wyndham with everything that he comes with straight out of the box. And, as you can see, we have a nice little selection of accessories right here. Taking a closer look at the accessories, starting off we have two beam saber handles. We also get two beam saber effect parts and they can be put together just like this. Slide them into the hand just like that. And this is what the Wyndham will look like holding both of the beam sabers. And when not in use, the beam sabers can be stored on the side skirts just like this. Up next we have the shield and giving it a full flip around we can see that there's some nice detail on the inside. This little fin on the front side does require a yellow sticker to be color accurate, but I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. We get a nice little gray connector peg that can be plugged into the shield in one of four ways. And to connect it to the arm, all you have to do is plug it into that little slot just like this. And this is what the Wyndham will look like with his shield equipped. Up next we have the beam rifle and there's not really much to say about this one. There's no moving parts and it's all in one color. There is a seam line running down the majority of the middle of it and to equip it you have to take the backs off the hand, pop the beam rifle in, and put the back of the hand back on. And this is what the Wyndham will look like when holding the beam rifle. I gotta say I do really enjoy the look and unique shape of this beam rifle but I don't really care for the fact that we didn't even get a sticker for the camera or anything like that. Last up we have the jet striker pack and I gotta say this is my favorite accessory out of the whole bunch. However, I can't say that I like it too much because it is the reason that we have that sticker sheet. Seriously, this thing's lack of color separation is the reason for about 90% of the stickers on that sheet. Don't believe me? Check it out. We're missing color separation here, 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 and here. And the front ends of the missiles are technically in the wrong color but we don't get any stickers for those. 
Thankfully to me, it looks fine without the stickers, so I don't feel the need to have to bother with them. To attach the Jet Striker pack, all you have to do is plug it into the hole on the Wyndham's back. Now if you'd like, this kit is actually made to be compatible with the other Gundam Seed Destiny Striker packs from their high grade line. So if you have any of those other Striker packs, you're free to reuse them as much as you like. Kinda like how Sunrise reuses animations for Gundam Seed Destiny. You're just hating on Gundam Seed Destiny because it's popular to do it. If you actually look into the subtle nuances of- Anyways, here's what the Wyndham will look like with the Striker pack attached, and I really really like the look of this, I think it balances out the design really well, and he has no problem standing upright when it's equipped. The striker pack also has a little bit of articulation, it can move up and down here, and the wings can move up and down independently. These little missiles can come off, but they don't really serve a purpose beyond being attached to the wings, and they are also kind of loose, they're not going to fall off on their own, but I am considering gluing my own in place, just so they're not wobbly when I'm handling it. So that is all the accessories, and here's the Wyndham with basically everything that it has equipped. Equipped. This actually looks really cool, and I think it would look even better with a couple of other Wyndoms next to it. And Bandai must have thought the same thing because they put 12 Wyndoms on the box art. It even specifically says on the bottom that this box only contains one Wyndom. So I think Bandai's kind of wanting you to build more than one. But then again, when doesn't Bandai want as much of your money as possible, am I right? But yeah, if you have the money for it and you like the Wyndom, this thing actually would be a great kit for army building. Specifically because it's quite cheap and it's based on the fine build system like kits like the Leo and and the Maganek are. You could grab a handful of these, some action bases, and put them in some pretty cool poses. And of course you can't pull off cool poses without some cool articulation. Ball joint at the head, back and forth, head can look up that far, and look down that far, 360 degree spin at the head, shoulders swing outward a bit, shoulders are on a ball joint and can spin around 360 degrees, arms can move out that far, 360 spin at the bicep, very nice bend at the elbow, hands are on a ball joint, very slight back and forth at the torso, not much in terms of an ab crunch, and some okay rotation at the waist. Side skirts are on a peg and can flip 360 degrees and can move up and down. Front skirts on a ball joint and the rear skirting cannot move at all. It can pull off the splits perfectly, you just have to move the side skirting out of the way. Rotation at the upper thigh, kick all the way forward and kick all the way backward. Beautiful double jointed bend at the knee, leg thrusters can spin all the way around, ankle armor moves up and down, foot pointed all the way down and all the way up. And here is the side to side at the ankle. Overall this kit does lack a bit of articulation in the torso area, however it has some great articulation in the limbs. And the awesome thing is none of this articulation is hampered at all when you put the striker pack on. And neither is the balance. You can seriously put this guy in some cool poses with this striker pack attached and you don't even need an action base to keep him upright. One last small thing worth noting is that this kit does not come with an action base adapter but rather it has a small hole in the bottom and it can be attached to a standard action base using this adapter just like so. So that is it for the review and overall I do really enjoy this kit. It was a very quick build. I had a lot of fun building it. It, and I think a lot of you guys will too. This is a great pick for Seed Destiny fans, army builders, or people just looking for a solid high grade in general. If you like the Wyndham and you think this kit is for you, you can get one for yourself over at Galactic Toys with the link down in the description. And of course you can get 10% off at checkout with code YSG10. I'm actually thinking of getting one or two more for myself and I definitely recommend that you guys pick up one as well. As long as you're not bothered by that sticker sheet or if you think it looks fine without the color correcting stickers, you're gonna have a great time with this kit just like I did. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for me for today. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and leave a like because it does help me out a lot. That's all for now. Until next time, this has been UC Gundam signing out.